Hello everybody and welcome to Welcome to my room. <laughs> uh it's time to start a new let's play and I figured that I would be a cool guy and at least attempt to be entertaining with my face while we play. So yeah. Got webcam up in the probably the top left corner um of the video because that's probably the best place for it to go. But um yeah, uh, as you can already tell, using an emulator again like I uh um think I previously stated I was going to have to do if not here it is. I have to use an emulator to play some games because they're either extremely rare or uh I just don't have them. And uh one of these games falls into the um both categories, but more the first one than the other. And it is Super Punch Out. <laughs> um I've played this game before. I played it a lot actually, but it's been a long time since I played it, so I don't know how well I'll do and uh <laughs> I thought my controller was configured correctly. Um. Uh. You guys hear that? I I'm hitting the button. But it's not. Oh, okay. Okay, apparently I had to start. Okay, it's probably because I didn't have any other data, so I wouldn't have to do that. Alright. So I'll just be Adam. Turn volume down a little bit, cause Jesus. Everything. Whoa, almost a little bit off. Everything's really loud for me. <laughs> but, uh, that should, that should fix that problem. And, uh, okay, button set mode. I'm sure this is riveting. I'm sure everyone's enjoying this a lot. But it'll just take a second. And... Now I'm ready to go. Uh, so I don't know how long this series will go. I'm going to try... Oh, this went the wrong way. Um, I'm going to try to do, like, each circuit as an episode by itself, but we'll just have to see how long each circuit takes to figure out if we can do that or not. Um, so a lot of people haven't heard about this game before, so um, I'll read it, like, talk about it a little bit, because this guy's easy to fight. Um, this is a sequ the Yay! sequel to Punch-Out! Um, that was on the Nintendo Entertainment Yay! System, which is actually a fight! remake of a game that was in arcade machines long before that, I think. Um, before it ever actually made it onto the Nintendo, it was an arcade machine game that actually looked more similar to this, looked and played more similar to this game than it did the uh, NES version. With you being uh, kind of like a behind the back camera view of your character and everything like this. Oh, I messed that up. But, um, this is the sequel. A lot of people think that the only other, um, that there was only two, uh, um, entries in the, this franchise, and that's the original Super Punch Out and the remake for the Wii, but there's actually four if you count the arcade one in this one. And this is really fun. Um, something you may have already noticed is this game has, instead of having knockout punches in the form of the stars, it has knockout meter. And when it um, becomes like a. <laughs> Here's an example. You get knockout punches that you can do with an alternate button whenever you fill it up. You can also spaz on the button. And you'll. Oh, I, whew, I got no that's actually really hard to do. I won't do that like anyone else. Um, getting actual knockouts. It's almost as hard as it is in the original Nintendo game. Um, but you can do um, a flurry of punches or one big hit like I did, and uh, depending on the situation, it might change what you want to do for that. Oh, okay, second place. I can live with that. So, uh, yeah, I kind of just beat the first person while explaining the game, but uh, this, this game is definitely nowhere near as hard as the original. The bear hugger. This guy's ridiculous. Um, this is nowhere near as hard as the uh, one on the NES or the actual original arcade cabinet one, but it still has its challenging moments. I for some reason thought I still had knockout power there. Alright. This guy's pretty simple after you learn his uh, trick, which is anytime you go for his face, he'll try to counter it, and it leaves, that was my phone. Um, it leaves him wide open to actually be hit. So you can just use that to your advantage. Just have to be really careful not to do something stupid and let him hit you and lose your knockout. Anytime you take damage, you'll, you'll lose part of your knockout meter. And uh, you don't want to take hits. You, you really, really don't want to take hits. It's not like in the original Punch-Out where you can kind of like let the other person hit you a few times like counterattack. You have to dodge everything you can if you want to be able to knock them out as quickly as possible. And uh, I'm making this game look really easy right now. I just realized that because I just knocked out two of the, uh, the first two guys, which is actually harder than it looks. You usually get TKOs, which is where you knock them down three times, like in the original game. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it'll get harder. I, this, this first set is, uh, really simple. Actually, I think the next guy is actually the first one that's actually a bit of a challenge. Oh, first place, nice. Um, yeah. Piss and Listen to this thing for a second. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. 
can't see my webcam, so I have no idea how goofy that might have just looked. But I really like his theme. Fight! This is the first guy where you actually can use a little bit of planning and do some countering and blocking when you face him. Instead of just um, ducking or just moving out of the way for one punch here or there. And he has a really killer super attack that um, can be devastating if you let him hit you with it too much, but if you don't, it leaves him wide open. He'll do it right here. He does a flurry of punches, and if you can block all of them, he'll go and do an uppercut, and then you can smash on him a little bit. Then he'll go, ah, I messed up. He'll go into the second one there, and you can uh, hit him again, and it almost always knocks him out. Because you'll either knock him down, his life down really low, or you'll just um, deal like a critical hit. Um, and you always want to knock out with the... Uh, with the knockout punches, because just like in the original game, it has a better chance of keeping them down. And he's got to come back in with the uppercut, which is something a lot of the uh, guys in this game will do to you. Especially later on, they'll try to come in with a fast uppercut and knock you out. But uh, he's, not as, uh, he's not as fast as the guys you face. Like. This also has a recovery system. Smashing on the buttons. Oh, got him. Nice. Um, smashing on the uh, buttons recovers your life. I don't know if that um, during the knockout. I'm not sure if it does that in the original or not. I haven't played it enough to remember. But, uh... Yeah, so things are going amazing so far. I kind of thought this was going to be more difficult than what it was, but it will get a lot harder. Um, as I get later on, I won't be able to talk as much on the focus. Alright, so um, some people might... This is the first character that's actually uh, a straight reoccurring character. There's only a couple in this game that actually reoccur from the original, and that's Bald Bull. I think he's actually in every single title for this game. In the original arcade, the Nintendo, the Wii remake, everything. I'm pretty sure he's in all of them. So, uh, and, he's and he has an obnoxious bull um, charge attack where he can one hit knock you out. So this might be the first guy to actually knock me down. Because I'm really bad at hitting him. When he uses it. Let's see. The trick against him is pop a couple on him, let him swing. Ooh, didn't time that right. Get your charge meter up and then start wailing on as fast as you can. If you knock him down, I think the second time he comes up, he instantly goes into the bull charge. So it can either end the game or end the match for you really fast, or make it harder for you to beat it if you're not good at hitting him. And I think if you can actually hit him with the um, hit the bull charge with a charge up punch, I think it's an automatic KO on him. Like he can't get back up after it. But I'm not going to try that <laughs> because it's hard enough to time it. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so that knocks him down. That might be enough to knock him out, I'm not really sure, it depends. Um, if I had gotten perfect on him all the way up to that point and hit him with a charge, that probably would have been enough to knock him out, but, um... Oh, I didn't... <laughs> Darn. Didn't time it right. I was about to finish that up as quick as I could, but now I gotta go ahead and go through one more round of fighting. Hopefully he won't do the full charge again. He's not... He doesn't have much left, I'll just... And, oh, he dodged it. And, whoop, whoop, and, oh, he only does two? Oh, that's uh, Mr. Dream that does three. That's right. <laughs> Did you see that? He was like, I'm gonna get you. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Last second before he popped me there. But, uh, let's see. Is, he, is that it? Yeah. Crap. Well, that's already, what is that? Eight, oh, you know, that, that, okay. Eight minutes, uh, nine minutes, roughly. That's not that bad. So, uh, that's uh, the first. I might have got first place on him, too. No, probably not. Yeah, second. I was close, though. I was only within a couple seconds. If I hadn't missed that power shot. But I got first place on the score. Um, to actually unlock the final circuit, you have to be able to beat every circuit without losing to anyone um, in like a perfect run. So hopefully I can do that on the first try and we don't have to have a bunch of filler. Oh, I think the video's skipping slightly. Oh, well. <laughs> it's a good time to end it then, I guess. Um, so, uh, yeah, next time we'll uh, go ahead and take on the major circuit. Maybe I won't talk constantly. <laughs> Um, and make it so uh, so difficult to watch. I'm sure that was kind of boring. Just let me talk about the game a bunch and not even pay any attention to what I was doing. But next time it'll take a lot more work. The major circuit has a big jump in difficulty. But um, yeah, so that's uh, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next.